Hi. So, a little video about sketchbooks, as I've just been doing a online sketchbook course for people, um, and I wanted to show you how my sketchbooks are used to inform my paintings. This is a little square sea white sketchbook. I love the white cover on it, and I bought it because of that. The paper's nice as well. But so on the front here, little doodle shapes, a little bit of collage that I liked that was from another painting stuck there. And then some words that I wanted to keep a focus on while I did these sketches. Uh, the sketchbook um, was done in about uh, a day and a half. Um, it collated ideas that I'd been having for a few months about where I wanted the next series of paintings to go. But it was just good to put them all together then in a book so that I could refer to them when I was doing the paintings. So it is here at this exhibition that I've got on at the moment in the Guildhall in Cardigan. I've got another uh, week, so we finish um, next Saturday. So let me show you the paintings first, just quickly. I know that um, you might have seen some of these, but you can see the, these are the end products and it's nice to see little cell sign stickers on some of them. These are the end products. I just want to show you those so you could see um, where I was going with them, and there's also work in progress, which I always bring along to an um, exhibition because I never quite finish as many as I think I might. Uh, okay, so there they are. Those are the finished ones. Now back to the sketchbook, which is what this little video is about. This is sort of a 20 by 20 centimetre sketchbook. There's an envelope in the front with all bits of uh, collaged material, old washers. I particularly liked that shape. The first page then, some bit more writing and it, it, it sets out my stall, it's about what this is about, space and calm, summer 20, this is a bit of collage just put in there and I just loved it, plain like that, space, calm. So as I work through then I'm working more with words, sorting out my colour palette, giving each of the words a bit of space to breathe in, telling me what it's about. Then I'm starting on some ideas for sketches and lines. Colours again. Bits of words that have inspired me. And then some more sketches, sort of working out shapes, simplicity, simplicity, colour, energy, yellow. And here I start to put in a bit of paper like this to show which ones might actually make it into the final cut, as it were. This is uh, very much influenced by Rothko's use of colour fields. And this is sort of me putting a bit of wax resist on there and trying my colours. This is my um, colour code, so I've written down the colours I've used, which is a paint grey then, and a Nicolas or yellow. That's the sort of drawing for the painting, exploring that shape and line a little bit more, again going back to this idea of these shapes, I like this juxtaposition of shapes there, more colours being used in lines, back to that shape and simplicity. Hello, hello. Just doing a little video about my sketchbook. For it. Somebody, uh, people have asked, so I'll put it up on social media later. It just sort of explains a little bit about um, where I've been. Thank you. Where I've been um, going, you know, what I wanted to do with this series of paintings. So quite a bit different from my older style. These ones, you know, the newer ones, they're simpler. There's a calmness that I wanted in them, and uh, elements of space. I'm going to look a bit more about the colour schemes that I want to use. This one works. That one's quite nice. With simple shapes and simple colours. A bit of collage that I really like that torn edge on, but I'm not quite sure what it, uh, where I'm going with this. A few more explorations of colour put together and shape. shapes. Shapes, colours. I like in the space around things as well. Turning over the edges of ones that I think I might do something more with. That 
one's quite nice. And it goes on like that. Right. Words again, quite important. There's a bit of something stuck in here. Right there. What's in there? Yeah. Just to say that I quite liked that. Can you see the the words that are being used? Yeah. The words form a big part of the my inspiration so that I, when I look at these I know what I'm trying to achieve with them. That's a, a colour sketch. It's been cut out and put in. That's a cloth gown. So black and whites again. Munt. Some colours being explored. Black and white lines. A bit of collage in there too. I do like collage in my sketchbook. It's a very easy way of exploring where shapes should be without um, having the commitment of actually putting the paint onto them. And finally, at the end, I was um, exploring a little bit of figurative work as well. Uh, that won't make it into the exhibition because it's not my thing, but I felt like doing it. I love the vibrance and the colour of that. So hopefully you can see how I'm using that sketchbook to build ideas, to play with them, to play with the colours, and then finally uh, realise them there onto canvases. Yeah, that'd be